Hi guys, my name is Aaron, also known as Full Time FM, and welcome to episode 5 of No Way Jose. If you're joining us for the first time, I've given Jose Mourinho the ultimate challenge, put him in charge of Blackpool to see if he can use his managerial ability and reputation to get Blackpool from Sky Bet League One to the Championship, to the Premier League, into Europe, and then to see if they can become the biggest team in the world by winning the Club World Cup. So, it's the 1st of February 2017. The winter transfer market is now over. So what we're going to do is check out if he's brought in any new signings and we'll also see where they're doing in the league. Now, if you remember from the last episode, the two owners, Carl and Owen Oyston, have left the club. They've now got new owners in charge and it looks like they're starting to invest in the club. So Mourinho has now got a little bit, bit of money to spend to try and strengthen his squad. So what we'll do is check out the transfers. Now, quite surprised, he's not actually brought anybody else in since the last episode. As you can see there, the last transfer was the 20, 22nd of the 9th, 2016. They have spent 10.5 million, though. So for a club like, like Blackpool, sitting in Sky Bet League One, that is quite a lot of money, to be fair, for a team like Blackpool, sitting in Sky Bet League One. So, can I, so I can kind of understand why they've not spent much more. Uh, they've let a couple of players go. Jack Redshaw, Clark Robinson, uh, Jean-Francois. Bradley Orr has gone as well, Wayne Brown's gone too, and Kyle Lethran, very surprised about that, that they've sold Kyle Lethran, he's the sub-goalkeeper, now in my series that I've got on my channel, Saving the Seasiders, he's my number one goalkeeper, he helped us get into the Championship, and we might be getting into the Premier League as well, so very surprised about that, that they've sold him, so they've not brought in any new players, but considering they spent 10.5, I can kind of understand that, so we'll check out Sky Bet League 1, see where they're sitting in the league, so they're sitting third, and it's about time they're doing okay as well, because last year they were only a point away from getting relegated. The season before that, they didn't do too well either. So third season, sitting third in the league, 49 points. They're eight points behind the automatic promotion spot, so it's going to be a challenge for them to get automatic promoted, uh, automatically promoted. But Scunthorpe are on 42 points, so they're seven points behind Blackpool. So they're kind of comfortable in the playoff positions. If they can carry on the form, and then maybe they can get through to the championship through the playoffs. So, sitting nicely in the league at third. Mourinho is doing quite well with a club in turmoil like Blackpool. So, what we'll do, we'll check out the awards. See if he's won any awards. Or see if any of the Blackpool players have picked up an award as well. So, we'll look at manager of the month. Ah, Mourinho. He actually got it in October. Sam Allardyce. Who's, look at that miserable pie face. He's now at Middlesbrough, he came second, but Mourinho in October did get manager of the month, so he's doing quite well. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other stuff, we'll look at player of the month as well. Uh, no Blackpool player featured in player of the month up to now. Young player of the month, we've got no Blackpool player there also. Team of the year and uh, team of the year as well, no point in looking at that because the season isn't over. So going back to the league. They're doing very well, sitting third. This could be the season that they get promoted into the Championship. And then that's when the series will really kick on. We'll see if we can get them to the Premier League, Champions League, and then the Club World Cup. So we'll just have a quick look at Blackpool now. See how Mourinho's setting them up and look at his tactics. So he's going for the 4-2-3-1. That's quite a strong team. Orlando is a very good player. As is Cabero, uh, they've got Turnbull in there, who was one of the new signings. Mahoney at the top, we'll see how the striker's getting on. Now he's only young, 19 years old, but he's got some decent attributes. We checked him out in a previous episode. He's played 28 games, he's scored 7, he's got 4 assists, his average rating 6.84. For a 19-year-old, he's not doing too bad, I suppose, and he's on a lot of money as well. For a 19-year-old, playing at Blackpool in Sky Bet League 1, £9,075. So, bloody hell, that is quite a lot of money. Uh, for someone playing for Blackpool. Kyle Letheran. I'm sure he was gone, didn't it? It just said they sold him. Yeah, there we go. Coventry. Uh, they've not played a game since then. That's why this hasn't changed. Um, they've also got some other decent players as well. You know, Tom Flanagan's there. Murray Appa's there as well. Niall Ranger's still there. Aldridge's still there. Another fantastic player. So we're setting up with a 4-2-3-1. That's the kind of system he's using. We'll check out some of the results. See if we've had any massive results in uh, this season. So we'll just look for... Ah, oh, they got battered by Middlesbrough 5-1 away. Um, let's have a look at some of the other ones. 4-1 at home against Crew Did all right there. So there's some of the big results where there's been big scorelines. We'll check how they're doing in the competitions. 
So they've been knocked out of the FA Cup third round by Brentford. They've been knocked out of the Capital One Cup by Bradford. And they was knocked out of the quarter final of the Johnston's Paint Trophy by Reading. So the route of the three cup competitions, which might, which might be pretty good, it might work in their advantage for Blackpool to get promoted because they don't have to concentrate on the, the cup competitions now. They can just concentrate on Sky Bet League One. And maybe this is the season where they get into the championship. So that is going to be the end of the episode. It was just a quick one, just to see where they're up to in the league halfway through the season. Uh, 1st of February, they've not made any new signings to strengthen the squad, but he did spend quite a lot of money in the summer transfer window so they're sitting third they're looking quite comfortable the seven points ahead of seventh place so they're sitting quite comfortable in the playoff positions and like i said hopefully this could be the year that Mourinho gets blackpool into the championship so that's going to be the end of the episode hit the like button if you liked it do leave a comment if you want to leave a comment and if you want to see the rest of this series and all the other content that's coming onto the channel by the other content creators too hit that subscribe button and i'll be back at the end of the season to see if blackpool made it all the way to the championship and i'll see you guys then